Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. It is well known that the United States Air Force possesses countless aircraft, of which only a few can be considered the backbone of its squadrons. Part of this group is the United States Bomber Force, whose history dates back almost a century. During World War II, the U.S. Air Force pioneered long-range strategic bombing, targeting industrial and military sites in Europe and the Pacific, with planes like the B-17 and B-29. By the mid-1950s and during the Cold War, the U.S. established numerous air bases across Europe for its bombers, focusing on deterrence. This time saw an exponential increase in bomber technology with the development of several aircraft with features no one had ever seen before. A groundbreaking example is the F-117 Nighthawk, developed in the late 70s with stealth technology and advanced aerodynamics. This aircraft's faceted surfaces reflect radar away from detection sources, minimizing radar cross-section. It also relies heavily on automation, with four elevons and the entire V-shaped tail acting as control surfaces, which the flight-by-wire system actively manages to stabilize flight. Even at the end and after the Cold War, American bombers continued to play a key role in military operations, prompting new developments that exponentially improved the capabilities of the U.S. Air Force. Such is the case of the iconic B-2 Spirit, a multi-role stealth bomber capable of delivering both nuclear and conventional munitions. Northrop Grumman led its development in the 80s as the Advanced Technology Bomber and involved the work of several companies, including Boeing, Hughes Radar Systems, General Electric, and Vought Aircraft Industries. Their work resulted in the public unveiling of the aircraft in 1988 and its maiden flight in 1989. This aircraft revolutionized stealth operations with key features like its flying wing design, radar-absorbing composite materials, and special coatings that reduce the B-2 traces. In addition to these characteristics, its geometry and dimensions make it unique and distinctive compared to other stealth aircraft. Its flying wing design means it has no defined tail or fuselage, making it shorter than other aircraft. However, the B-2 is characterized by having a wide wingspan of 172 feet which influences the hangars in which it is stored, since these locations tend to be designed exclusively for the B-2 or aircraft with similar dimensions. Typically, the hangars are 200 feet wide or more to ensure unobstructed access to the aircraft's edges and can maintain a controlled environment if there is sensible technology installed in the aircraft. This location is used for groups like the conventional weapons team to reload the aircraft weapons, using tools like the launcher load system or a rotary load assembly rack, which holds munitions for easier loading into an aircraft.
The B-2's advanced technology means its use is more complex than that of other aircraft, so its pilots must have specialized training to know all its functions and characteristics. This meticulous and rigorous process involves intensive academics, simulator exercises, and flight experiences to ensure pilots are proficient in the unique demands of flying and employing stealth bombers. With such training, the pilots can be ready to fly the plane, but also follow the pre-flight procedures, including preparing their equipment and suits. When starting an operation, pilots must attend a mission briefing, where they review the mission objectives as well as the weather conditions and the equipment they will use. Meanwhile, the maintenance squadron, located in the hangar, is responsible for loading the ammunition using advanced tools that speed up the process and reduce the risks of failure. Once the ammunition is ready, other squadron members carry out checks on the plane alongside the pilots who follow pre-flight procedures inside the cabin. Finally, the ground crew and air traffic control start guiding the plane through the runway, where the pilots will take off. While flying, the B-2 can use all the technology that has made it an iconic aircraft. Its most important characteristic is the ability to drop conventional and thermonuclear weapons, such as up to 8,500-pound class MK-82 JDAM GPS-guided bombs, or 16 2,400-pound B-83 nuclear bombs. This is combined with the plane's sophisticated flight control systems and unique design that increases maneuverability, employing elevons, split flaps, and a yaw control system. The strategic advantage provided by the B-2 means that the Air Force keeps said aircraft operational for as long as possible, reducing the time it spends on the ground. For these purposes, several procedures are carried out to maintain the operational readiness of the B-2 Spirit, including hot pit refueling. This technique involves refueling the aircraft while its engines remain running, significantly reducing turnaround time and enhancing mission flexibility. Refueling without shutting down its systems reduces the risk of mechanical issues associated with restarting engines and other components. It also decreases reliance on aerial refueling tankers, which are often heavily tasked, especially in contested or resource-limited environments. To follow the procedure, the aircraft lands at a designated airfield where ground crews quickly connect fuel hoses to the aircraft while maintaining safety protocols around the running engine. Here, fuel is pumped into the aircraft's tanks while pilots conduct an engine running crew change. This allows for a fluid transition between flight crews while the aircraft remains on and refueling ensuring that the B-2 always maintains a fresh crew ready to operate. Clearly, all these simultaneous processes must be carried out following the strictest safety regulations, in addition to hours of prior training for all members who act in this operation. Other operations requiring strict prior training are maintenance activities to keep the B-2 operational without mechanical or electrical problems.
Routine inspections include servicing and repairs in the exterior components of the aircraft, usually in the airframe, landing gear, and panel surfaces. Further maintenance may involve the engine being removed to repair it or replacing it with a newer version. This process is done by the airmen of the 509th Bomb Wing Squadron, who initially disconnect all the systems, such as fuel lines and electrical connections. Then, the engine is released from its support, while hoists are used to move the engine to be stored for inspection, overhaul, or replacement. Similar refurbishment procedures are done during programmed depot maintenance, where the team makes a more exhaustive inspection, overhaul, and repair of the bomber. Much of the work is focused on restoring the bomber's low observable or stealth materials. Additionally, the team can reduce the time required for the procedures by conducting pre-inspections of the aircraft before they arrive at PDM. This allows them to catch issues ahead of time, order parts, and work specific repairs into the schedule. Even with the large number of missions and operations carried out with the B-2 and its great achievements, this aircraft will have to retire at some point and give way to new developments that are constantly emerging. This drive to improve these aircraft resulted in the B-21 Raider, an evolution of the Spirit and part of the Stealth Bomber's sixth generation family, designed to be the backbone of U.S. strategic air power for the coming decades. With innovations in materials and manufacturing techniques, the B-21 is built to evade even the most advanced anti-access area denial systems. Like its predecessor, the B-21 can deliver both conventional and nuclear payloads, supporting a range of munitions, from standoff weapons to direct attack systems. Digital engineering tools were used extensively during its development, enabling rapid prototyping, testing, and production. It is built with modular hardware and software, which can be upgraded easily to meet evolving threats. Being shown to the public for the first time in 2022, the B-21 began its test flights in November 2023 to demonstrate all its capabilities in different climatic conditions and executing missions. Test flights are conducted as frequently as twice per week, showing the program's progress in reaching a steady and reliable test cadence. Northrop Grumman has emphasized designing the B-21 as a daily flyer capable of consistent operations, which differs from the maintenance-intensive B-2 spirit. As the tactics and strategies implemented in military operations have changed over the years, this has resulted in and been a consequence of technological developments in the military industry. When looking at the iconic F-117, B-2, and B-21, you can see the trend of improving stealth tactics offering aircraft that are increasingly efficient and versatile when it comes to being operated. This just shows what the future holds for creating platforms that we haven't even imagined yet. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. 
make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.